How you guys? How you doing? Great. Greetings from uh, greetings from Venice. Venice, that's where I live. I live in Venice. The oldest cities, the oldest city, is in uh, in Florida, is in St. Augustine. The people who built those buildings live in Sarasota, and their parents live in Venice. Some of you get it, some of you don't. I have room, and I have rambled many a mile I have crossed with only the stars to guide me. This weary road I'm traveling on, going back to see my family. Going back one more time Along the sea, the ones who love me But I can't leave right down and down It's my tongue tied on a foreign show With a rifle in my hand dream, I still see life lives upon the sand, going back to see my family, going back one more time, along the sea, the ones who love me. Appreciate that. My name is James Hawkins. I'm from way down in the land of the. We used to lovingly, we used to joke around and call it the land of the living dead. That's Venice. We can sing you a song about Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida used to be a drinking village with a fishing problem a long, long time ago. And uh, if anyone remembers Muhammad Ali, 
when he fought uh, Frazier and it was the thrill in Manila. And the, uh, the promoters were looking for a place to uh, have a fight, so they put it away off the beaten tracks, like when Ali fought Frazier, uh, for Foreman, it was in Zaire. Well, in the 1890s, gentleman Jim Corbett had beat John L. Sullivan, and they were looking, and, Char and England's champ wanted a shot at him. So they needed a place for it to happen, and they had to put their, eye, their uh, eyes on uh, Jacksonville. And it was this, this fight was actually a pivotal point because they fought, it was the, there were uh, court fights all year long to try to stop it. But it went on as, as uh, planned. So this is a song that's it's from the eyes of a, someone who lived through it. And remember, 1890s was Victorian. You know, women didn't smoke, they didn't drink. an idea. There was drinking, there was swearing, there was even card play, and Satan walked the streets of our town. There were ladies of the night, a man was quite a sight, the day Jim Corbett came to town. Around the year of 93, our town slept quietly, we had no idea it was about to go down. She said promoters were looking for a place to have a prize fight. They put Jacksonville clearly in their sights. Now gentleman Jim Corbett beat John L. the year before. Maybe with champ Charlie Mitchell, he wanted a shot. Both fighters were in their prime. They drop a man at the turn of a dime. Both were ready and raring to go. There was drinking, there was swearing, there was even card playing, and Satan walked the streets of our town. The we ladies of the night, man, it was quite a sight. That day Jim Corbett came to town. Now the Duval Athletic Club put up twenty thousand dollars. They said, "Winner take all." Soon the population swelled. Then we asked ourselves if Jacksonville was really ready for it all. Now the Duval County Sheriff, Napoleon B. Broward was his name. He said, this fight is not going to take place. No. So Jalen found them all. I dragged their butts to City Hall. And Corbin Mitchell, they came anyway. There was drinking, there was swearing, there was even card play. And Satan walked the streets of our town. The ladies of the night, man, it was quite a sight. The day Jim Corbett came to town. No tempers flared, martial law was declared. Gate Seed Rifle Company had to come out and take charge. There were rakes and ramblers, sportsmen and gamblers, filled every saloon and bar. Now the ride up to that January day, the governor had tried every which way to keep this fight from coming to pass. Soon the call went out across the land, said, boys, it's time to lay your money down. There was drinking, there was swearing, there was even card playing, and Satan walked the streets of our town. There were ladies of the night, the man was quite a sight. The day Jim Corbett came to town. Well, after all the sleepless nights, the many court fights, Corbett and Mitchell, they finally squared off. Well, the first round was a draw, but in the second one, people saw Corbett knocked Mitchell to the ground. Other people all could tell that Mitchell was groggy as hell. But still, he put up his gloves to fight. But with the right to the contender's nose, he fell hard, don't you know? <laughs> that was the end of that fight. Oh, man. There was drinking, there was swearing, there was even card play. And Satan walked the streets of our town. The little ladies of the night, the man was quite a sight. The day Jim Corbett came to town. 
Yeah, the day Jim Corr, the king of town. The day Jim Corr, the king of town. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Well, I've done a little bit of moving around. I don't get out of the state very much. Everywhere. But uh, a while back, I decided to go to a folk alliance. I don't know if you've ever been to a folk alliance, but a folk alliance is where they take all these songwriters from across the country and they stick them in a hotel. And they have these, these showcases in the hotel. Now, that sounds like a great idea. But they had this thing for like two weeks long. So at the end of the first week, you, you're going through these mood changes with all these different songs and everybody feeling, touchy-feely kind of stuff. And then by the end of the second week, you're ready to slash your wrist and jump out the window, man. It's just, sometimes it's a little too much to handle. So we decided... So one year I decided I was done. So from there I went to go see a friend and he invited me up to record. And I said, okay, it sounds like a great idea. And he said, he told me, he says, we're going to become famous with your songs. And I was like, cool, great. Yeah, I can handle that. I can quit my job. You know, I can get a new car. I'm ready to go. So, so we, he lived in Nashville at the time and we went up there and we didn't get any recording done. He basically just kind of piddled around in the thing. He thought I was going to move up there or something, you know? So, um, so as I was getting ready to leave, we stopped at this piece of, I'll give you a ride to the, to the uh, airport. We stopped at a place called Douglas Corners Cafe. He's doing, going to do, do some sort of a promotional thing. And he stopped at this place and I was feeling pretty down. It was really one of those times in Tennessee. I, and how many people are from up north? Well, you know what I'm talking about when when the sun, when the guy, when the sky turns a gunmetal gray and it's been kind of overcast and rainy and dreary and stuff. And, and on top of that, I, we couldn't get anything done, and I was pretty depressed. And so we stopped there at this Douglas Corner Cafe, and, and I decided he says I'm going to go in the back and talk to the owner. I said, okay, it sounds like a good idea. And we, I sat there and he says, on this stage, you know, this is where Guy Clark and Hank Williams has played on this stage. I said, yeah, whoa, it's kind of cool. So I took up my guitar and I sat there and he'd been back there for a while. That's where the basis of this song came from. Believe me, it was in Nashville, summer of 63. When I last saw you alive, you were standing on Union with a guitar in your hand. You were trying to flag a ride. The years have come and gone since those early days. And those memories make me smile So roll me another song now, Maggie I feel something coming on A few more miles to go But nothing else left to show It's just another traveling song So there was that night in Buffalo The temperature was ten below Huddle in a little room upstairs We talked all night till dawn And sang those silly songs With a single bed to share The years have come and gone Since those early days and those memories make me smile. 
Go with nothing else left to show, but just another traveling song. Whiskey and cigarettes, no remorse, no regrets. Yes, I'd do it all again. But the road has worn me down And I still hear that sound Of the highway call me home The years have come and gone Since those early days And those memories make me smile Roll me another song now, Maggie something coming on A few more miles to go with nothing else left to show But just another traveling song Just another traveling song song uh, came after a, we had this guy, this guy came to work with us, his name was, uh, his name was Pablo, I think it was, or something. Nice fellow, didn't know a lot of English. And one day he came to work, he came to work every day, he was there every day. We picked him up, and he worked all day long, didn't matter how long, he was always there, he always worked hard. One day we went to, we dropped him off in front of this 7-Eleven. We went to pick him up the next day and he wasn't there. I said, okay, it's fine. He wasn't there the next day and the next day. We'd heard on the, on the TV that there had been an ice raid, immigration, and he disappeared. This is the song I wrote while in the cab driving, walk, driving home. I've never seen him since. Years ago, I crossed that river to work in your fields and your factories. I've roamed across this great country Working on the day when I could be free. Illegal is what they call me in this land so strong and free. I'm the one that nobody will speak of. I'm the one that nobody will see. I left my home back in Chiapas. I think of it often when the winds blow cold. We came here for work and we came here for freedom. So we live in fear of the knock on the door. Illegal is what they call me in this land so strong and free. I'm the one that nobody will speak of. I'm the one that nobody will see. Head up when you live the way that we do. All the fear and the ugly laughter, it's there when the 
work days are through Now I'll cut your lawn and I'll pick your fruit I'll fight in your army to keep us all free Then I'll do the jobs that you won't do Still I'm the one that you never see Illegal is what they call me In this land so strong and free I'm the one that nobody will speak of I'm the one that nobody will see I'm the one that nobody will see weather makes me think of I mean, when I was a kid. When I was a kid in Kentucky, I was born and raised in Louisville. And when you, when you write, and I'm not saying, I'm not speaking from a, a word of, a position of uh, authority, because there's a lot better writers than I am. But when you do write, you look at the world a little differently and you feel things a little differently. And you know, when you're in love, things really stick around. No matter what happens, whether it's good or bad, it comes out good, it's wonderful. It's raining in Cambridge, there's a chill in the air. The sky's been gray since September, and it's so gloomy everywhere. After all this time, it's never far from my mind. Words were said, and doors were slammed, and we left it all behind. Left here now. I could be that summer rain If I knocked upon your door Would you take me back again? Maybe in the spring Neat the shade of the trees so cool We could sit and talk a while Like normal people do Maybe we could find a place where our hearts could meet again. Try it all just one more time. Maybe in the spring. I have a letter that I've written many times. Between the words I ask myself why I left you behind But I always throw it away Cause it scares me so Am I afraid of what you say Or what I know But here now I could beat that summer rain If I knocked upon your door Would you take me back again? Maybe in the spring Be the shade of the trees so cool We could sit and talk a while Like normal people do Maybe we could find a place where our hearts could meet again. Try it all just one more time. Maybe in the 
spring Wish I had a crystal ball to show me what to do If this was meant to be then why am I so blue I wish I was an eagle I wish I was a train but Wishes don't get you nothing They'll just drive you insane If I left you right now I could beat that summer rain If I knocked upon your door Would you take me back again? the spring, beneath the shade of the tree is so cold, we could sit and talk a while like normal people do, maybe we could find a place where our hearts could meet again, try it all just one more time, maybe in the spring. Maybe in the spring